morning, village, and welcome back to another episode of Jedi Learning with Baba Ken Tu. This channel is where you can find tons of information on African-centered education, psychology, and philosophy. And today we're going to talk about the sense of smell because it's so important to a number of your psychological processes, such as your memory, your emotions, your feelings of uh, well-being, fighting off sense of depression. Now, the reason this comes up is because I myself just got over an affliction in which my uh, olfactory senses were impaired. And olfactory senses are just your sense of smell. And it reminded me of how important it is to be able to smell. And I wanted to do a little introduction on what to do if you lose your sense of smell, as well as how important that sense of smell is. Now, once again, you have an olfactory bulb in your prefrontal cortex in your brain. That's linked to other portions of your brain, such as the hippocampus for memory, amygdala for control of emotions, as well as temperature and some other um, responses by the body. And impairing the sense of smell impacts your ability to sense those types of emotions. For example, people who um, have COVID and have experienced what they call anosmia or that loss of smell report a 56% decrease in life satisfaction. So that's over half. So over half of people who lose their sense of smell also start to get depressed. So this is another way you can fight depression is also by understanding how important the smell is as well as what you can do about it. So I'm here to give you three strong tips about how to regain your sense of smell um, as well as some smell training that you can do actually daily in order to improve your sense of smell. Because once again, you can improve your emotions by doing so. You can improve your overall well-being by doing so. You can improve your memories. There may be some old memories that you forgot about that you didn't even know existed anymore. But you can still tap into those memories if you just do a little bit of smell training. So one thing you can do, and you get this from the people who sell perfumes and colognes, is you're gonna smell a particularly um, strong smell, okay? Let's just say it is a, a certain perfume. For me, let's go with Obsession, Calvin Klein's Obsession. That, that brings back so many good memories of junior high and early high school that, man, I'm just smiling thinking about it right now. But let's take that for example. You go to a place where you are um, smelling perfumes and colognes, the first thing they're gonna give you is some coffee to smell after that because it cleans out your palate. It's so strong and overpowers everything else, allowing you to smell whatever it is in its true essence whatever outside the coffee that you're trying to smell. So one tip, use coffee intermittently during your smell training. So you, let's say you smell that obsession for 10 seconds, you do the coffee for 10 seconds. You do the obsession for 10 seconds, you do the coffee for 10 seconds. And you might wanna do that for about a minute a day. Okay, that's one exercise. Another exercise, Okay, and this can be particularly important for people who develop what they call parosmia. And parosmia is when older and used to be pleasant smells now develop an unpleasant odor. So let's just say my um, obsession now smells like garbage. Okay, that's parosmia. And that can also be developed through symptoms of COVID or whatever other type of infliction affects your upper respiratory system, specifically the nose and the olfactory senses. Another thing you can do is just get some strong smells in general. Get some eucalyptus, get some lavender, get some cloves, and do 20 second intervals of just inhaling those smells. 20 second intervals, you do it for about a minute, and you can do that maybe twice a day. Okay, so that's two that you have already. The last one that you should do, and I think is very, very important, is to use foul odors in order to help retrain your sense of smell. Because foul odors also tell you when something is dangerous. 
or when you should stay away from something. So don't always give foul odor a bad name. Foul odors are very, very important in your survival. And just like training those pleasant odors, you have to train those unpleasant odors. So go in somewhere, and I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna let you figure out where some unpleasant odors are in your home or your house. But doing maybe five seconds for a minute straight of an unpleasant odor daily will significantly improve your sense of smell. As we get older, our smell gets impaired. If we have an affliction, an in upper respiratory infection, a cold, cold or whatever, all of those can impair your sense of smell, impact your memory, your mood, and a whole lot of other things. So you have to train the full range. So let's recap those real quick. Number one, use the intermittent coffee smelling. 10 seconds coffee smelling, 10 seconds something very, very pleasant that you like. The intermittent coffee smelling. Next, coffee taken out and you're just gonna do smelling overload. Get some very, very strong smells. Get some eucalyptus, get some myrrh, get some frankincense. Smell those for 20 seconds each. Take a few deep, deep breaths. Do that for a minute, at least once or twice a day. And lastly, foul odor exercise. So smell something foul for five seconds straight. Take a breath for five seconds straight. Do that for a minute and do it once or twice a day. And you will see, not only will your ability to smell increase, but your ability to recall memories will increase. You might pass by something you expected in a long time and be like, wow. It'll literally take you back into some super nostalgia. So it's no coincidence that nose and nostalgia sound so much alike. So that's just another wisdom instruction that you can use for your everyday life. And this one has to do more with your health, but it is also related to your psychology. So it is very, very important that you train that smell, train them nostrils up. I know some of y'all got them Watusi noses out there and can smell all that air. So make sure you use them because it can improve, improve your mood, boost your energy, develop and strengthen old memories that you have that you do not want to lose. So once again, this has been another wisdom instruction from Jedi Learning. I have been your host, Baba Kintu. And on this channel is where we resurrect communities through superior education because we know anyone can learn to learn. Peace.